welcome back to my bathroom I'm actually going to be dyeing my hair um, so I'm going to film it and if you guys can hear the noise of the vent it's because in my bathroom there's no window they have a vent so I was thinking if it's too noisy once I edit this video I might have to do a voiceover on it um, so I don't know um, but anyways I need to dye my hair I usually do my roots and whatever I have left I do it on my hair because my hair is already black anyways uh, but I just like to kind of focus it now on my roots because that's what my real hair colors are showing I mean you guys can't see it here but in the sun a lot of people can see it so yeah and you guys request I think this is like the most asked question about my hair dye what hair dye I use what do I use on my hair so I kind of wanted to show you guys how I well you guys know how to dye hair obviously but I wanted to show you guys what I'm using and I'm just gonna film myself dye my hair for those that want to see how I do it um, little tips if you don't want stains on your forehead or face or anything I suggest you get Vaseline and apply this all over your face and neck I don't have any so I'm really fucked because I'm gonna end up with stains all over my face so yeah so a lot of you guys have asked what hair dye I use I usually use two boxes but I only got one this time because honestly I'm just trying to dye the roots and then whatever I have left I'll do I'll apply it on the rest of my hair I don't really need to do the rest of my hair it's really too long anyways so yeah so I do use the Revlon uh, number 10 black hair dye this is what it looks like I've been using this hair dye for a long time and I feel like this is like the one that gives me the blackest hair um, so I haven't washed my hair in I want to say two days three days I kind of wanted to get dirty and really oily because that's when the hair dye grabs a lot more especially when your hair is dirty so that's why I like to not wash my hair to do this so I did do dry shampoo yesterday so I don't know we're gonna see so that's why it doesn't look that oily but I know it's dirty and I can't wait to wash this hair so yeah also I'm not a professional so I just this is what I do at home I know a lot of people don't like box hair dyes but this is what I've been using and Dude, I'm on a budget. I have three kids. I'm not trying to spend $65 just to somebody to dye my hair black when I can do it at home. Just saying. So it does come with gloves, but I have my own gloves and I'm going to use my own gloves because I feel like the other ones are really cheap and my nails actually break into them and then my nails end up stained and I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my gloves. Also, if you've never dyed your hair before and you don't know if you're allergic to it, I would suggest to do a test, like, on the back of your hair. Grab a piece and test it out with whatever color you're going to dye your hair. Because if you get an allergic reaction, it's happened to me before, I'm allergic to the Wella hair dye that you can buy at Sally's. I swallow from my face and it feels really horrible. I had to go to the doctor and get a shot get that fixed because half of my face was swollen and I'm not trying to go through that so you definitely want to do a test before you do anything because you don't want to end up with end up at the hospital seriously so this is the hair box this is what the box looks like of the hair dye it's number 10 this is the one I use it does come with the developer the cream developer and then the color so you're basically going to apply put this in here and mix it very well it does come with the instructions it tells you what to do the gloves are in here as well but I'm not going to be using them it tells you what to put what uh, what to do first shake it and then you're gonna cut thing and it tells you you're gonna leave it in for 20 minutes unless you have gray hairs and you're gonna leave it for 25 well I'm reading them in Spanish so yeah, so if you have gray hair, you will leave this for 25 minutes, so yeah. I'm going to go ahead and start putting everything together. So I'm going to apply the color to the developer. I hope the noise is not really annoying because there's no way for me to turn it off. 
it's annoying. You would think that we would have a we would have a window since we're in the second floor. It doesn't make sense that the first floor has windows and the second floor doesn't have windows. I don't understand why we don't have windows. It's kind of ridiculous. But yeah. So you're gonna shake it very well. It also comes with a conditioner. I always forget to use this when I get in the shower, so um, yeah. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. I'm also thinking of trimming my hair, guys, because I have no volume or layers in here. Everything is just one length and it gets on my nerves. And I look like crap. I can see it in the viewfinder. I look like shit. But yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna have to move the camera a little bit because I have to open my mirror for my little knife. I'm gonna cut off the tip. Also, I put a towel down because I do um, stain everywhere. So I wanna make sure that I don't. So I have to put like a thing to hold the tripod. Um, I'm doing this in the sink, so. You do wanna section your hair, but I'm definitely not going to because that's not the way that I do it. I'm not gonna lie and say, oh yeah, I section my hair. No. All right, so I start off from the center. Oh, and you also want to wear a shirt that you don't care about because you're definitely going to get a hair dye all over the face. So I use the tip to section, apply a line, and then I kind of just blend it out with my finger. I want to do this all over my head. I'm going to fast forward this because I know it's going to take so long. But you guys get the idea, right? So you just want to use the tip of the, the hair dye thing and make the line. applying and then mix it with your finger right so we're gonna go ahead and fast forward this because this is gonna take a while and I don't want to be here in the bathroom all day so yeah If I'm going to do my whole head, um, I would have to buy two of these because I have a lot of hair now. My hair is so long. So, but I'm just going to try to just spread a little bit on top just so that, you know, the color is back a little bit. So, yeah. 